in, baby. Damon, the Bulldog, the Reason, the Assassin, Redemption. Fourteen and old, ten knockouts. Damon, how you feel, son? Great. Feel great. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. Dedication. You know, hungry. I'm ready to get back in there and do what I gotta do. To come on top like I once was before. This time ain't no stopping me. Anybody can get it. You know, for those that's watching, yeah, this is what's going on. So if you want it, come get it. You know, I'll be ready in a second. Hard work pays off, like you said. Hard work, dedication. So if you want it, come get it. Look in my eyes. You want it? Come get it. That's real talk, Damon McCray. Yeah, it's real talk, man. Yes, son. So, uh, we've been through it all. We've been through it all. We've been accused of stuff we didn't do, you know, stepping stones. But guess what? That's, that's, that's part of it. You got to go through something in order to get to where you want to go. So you ain't been tested. You ain't one of God's children, really. But if you have been tested, it makes you stronger than what you were before. And this is what makes up, you know? So... God bless you. God bless you. We got you. props in my corner. You know what I'm saying? Part of the team. You know, we as one. It's not just this guy, this guy, this that. No, we together. So if I'm in a storm, pops in a storm. My team's in the storm. We go for it. We go for what we have to go for. So with saying that, you know, for all those who's watching, be careful because it's going to be a storm and it's coming. It's like they say, Jesus is coming back. He's been here already. Bulldog is coming back. And Bulldog is already here. So get ready, y'all. Well, you are the modern day gladiator, the, uh, the real life Apollo Creed. Uh, any type of influences in your life, Damon? As yes, I, got, I got a lot of influence. You know, guys such as Bob and Hazard, Thomas Hearn, uh, a lot of my Detroit fighters. You know, I got a few of them. Honeybee, Lonnie Beezy, Honeybee, for those that don't really too much know. Yeah, Honeybee. You know, Honeybee, Lonnie Beezy, sweet. You know, I yeah. got a lot of inspirations here in, in Detroit, you know, and, uh, you know, these guys just push me. Bam, Arthur Lawhorn, you know, these guys, these are the guys that I came up on. So, Ricky Womack, killer, assassin. You know, so these are the guys I come up under. You know, Trouble Man, Marlon Thomas, uh, K-Man, Cornelius Bundy. All of us together in Detroit. We Detroit fighters. A lot of us don't get recognition, you know what I'm saying, because they hate on Detroit. They, they, they be hating on us, but guess what? We prove them wrong by keep doing what we got to do and keep training hard. So by the time the bell rings, they know that we coming and we breaking the pain. Simple as that. Wow. You know? Well, Damon, you've named some very influential people. Now, as far as your training methods and your training, your coaches along the way, you're 14 and 0, 10 by knockout. You know, you're cutting your weight. You look like uh, you're going to be honored popping here in just a matter of a month or so. Okay. Uh, in, in, under the tutelage of uh, Emmanuel Stewart uh -huh. and uh, Tony Popsalores. Can you name some of the, the trainers along the way of about your career? Well, yeah, you mention like, a few words here. Okay. Um, I like to just talk out first of all. To legendary John Brown, Coleman Johnson, he started me off. A great inspiration, and the guy who picked me up from that was James Lester. You know, that guy, he, he took me to where I'm at right now. Okay. You know, he plays a real, real big part of that. And I want to thank you, James. James Lester Sr. He's a great, awesome, good, phenomenal trainer. Then I got Rick Griffin, you know, a soldier, an assassin. He, 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 He's back from, uh, he's a throwback type of hardcore, ain't taking no for no answers, uh, trainer. Then I got the general, which has been with me since thick and thin. No matter if we lose or win, but we ain't losing. Pop, Tony Halor. We I call him the general for a reason. Why? Because he is the general. When he says go, we go hard. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of that old oh, baby stuff, rocking the cradle and all that. Tony Halora, he's been through it through not just only boxing, but through a lot of things I've been through in my life. And I'm loving for that. And he's here right now with me as I speak. And I'm going to take him with me. If he don't go, I'm not going. That's my transfer. Tony Halora's pops. 
And then I also have Bill Miller, you know, he's a good guy who influenced me a lot. You know, old throwback guy, former trainer of uh, James Tony. He's trained 13 world champions. And uh, these are the guys who have been there for me, who I have learned from. I also like to thank guys like Bill Kazerski, you know, once was my promoter. Uh, he's been there for me, and I love him with all my heart. He's really showed me a lot of love, you know, during the hard times that I have been going through. And, uh, you know, I just want to just keep pushing and give thanks to these guys that's been in my corner. Well, Damon, in closing, I'm, I'm humbled, son, as one of your coaches, and now uh, as you call me the general. And uh, this, this is uh, this is a great uh, interview. Thank you. We really appreciate your time. It looks like, uh, champ, you've never lost a beat. And uh, hey, we'll be talking soon, all right? All right. All right. Thanks, Stay Thanks. strong, Damon. Bulldog McCurry training. We're at the Bad Boy Box, Michigan. Oh, uh, what pays off, baby. Signing off, Damon Bulldog McCreary.